Now in this video, I want to look at sketching y equals 8 to the x take away 3. Now that negative 3 just means that the curve is dropping down 3 units. So the horizontal asymptote will be following it. So that means we're going to have a horizontal asymptote at y equals minus 3. So that's the first thing we should sketch. So y equals minus 3, that's my horizontal asymptote. Now the curve is going to look something like this. And there are two points of interest, where it crosses the y-axis and where it crosses the x-axis. Now it's going to cross the y-axis when x is 0. So when x is 0, we'll have 8 to the power of 0 take away 3. So 8 to the power of 0 is 1, so 1 take away 3 is minus 2. So that is where it crosses the y-axis. Where it crosses the x-axis is a little bit more fiddly for us. That is when y is 0. So when y is 0, we're going to have 0 is equal to 8 to the x, sorry, take away 3. So 8 to the x will be 3. Now, how to solve that equation? Well, in the next section, we're going to be looking at logarithms. And we're going to see how we can solve an equation like that. What we're going to find is that if you are trying to solve something like y is equal to b to the x, then x is log base b of y. Okay, so this is what we refer to as conversion going from exponential form to logarithmic form. And this is how you can solve equations like 8 to the x equals 3. So in this case, x will be log base 8 of 3. And this is the exact point as where the curve goes through the x-axis. Now, at this stage, all you really need to know is that you can find where an exponential curve like that crosses the x-axis, or you can solve this equation by writing this, and that solves it. Okay, so all at this moment is, can I write down what the solution would be in this format using this log? Because at the moment, it will seem very alien as to what this actually means, and we look, more, we look at this in more depth in the next section.